Hi everyone, so recently I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys for me to review the Java backend development course from Geeks or Geeks. So I have the course open right here and I'm going to show you everything about the course. We're going to take a look at inside the course to see the content, the classes, the articles, the projects, the placements and everything in details. So before we jump into the content, the first thing that I want to discuss is the pricing of the course. So if you take a look at the pricing of the course, it is pretty decent if you compare it with other courses out there which offer courses for lakhs and lakhs of rupees and this is just a fraction of that for pretty much same content given that this is also live and it also has projects, live classes etc. So it is a pretty affordable course for people who cannot afford you know lakhs and lakhs of rupees into courses. Now on top of that I'll also give you a coupon code which can give you you know the maximum discount so I'll give the coupon code in the description. You can use that in checking out once you go for buying the course if you feel like it. So that's about the price point which I feel is pretty affordable once you compare it with the other courses on the market. So I got the course for you guys so that you can see inside it and now let's jump into it. So once you get inside the course this is what your page or your home page will look like. So you have live classes and then you have recorded classes. So you have pre-recorded classes as well and whatever live class is there you'll have a recording of that as well. For example for the time being there has only been one class because I only took this course recently and you have a like a video of that class as well. For example, if you're not able to attend the class because of some meeting, because of college, because of any other personal work, you can watch the recording of the class. Okay, so this was the first recording in oriented an oriental session. Now, apart from that, you have a lot of content which are for you at a self-paced rate. So you have articles, you have pre-recorded videos, and things like that. So it is Java backend development live, right? What if you don't know Java? This is one question I get a lot. What if you're just a fresher, you're a beginner, you don't even know Java, will you be able to take this course? The answer is yes. Why? Because this course starts at the very basics of Java. So you have Java fundamentals right inside this course. So it's like another course that you're getting inside it, where you have Java basics, variable and data type, input and output, all of these things are inside the Java fundamentals. So you have multiple videos, you have articles, so you can see it starts right so from the beginning. Our programming journey. You can see here, it starts right from the beginning of what is Java, what is input output, what are variables and all of these things. Okay, even see. covering why do we need programming languages and things like that. So it covers fundamentals in a very good way that you're able to understand. So it does cover fundamental in a very good way that you're able to understand. So apart from Java basics, you have oops and advanced topics. So you have object oriented programming, advanced object oriented programming, these things are also there. And as we know, OOP is extremely important while going for Java interviews. Now, after that you have Java collection. So they cover the Java fundamentals, the syntax, the learning, then they have Java collection. So inside that they have collections overview, you have nine videos, you have nine articles. And one more thing, along with every, in every topic, you can see they have videos for learning. You have articles that you can read. And then they have problems in MCQs. So these are for practice. So this is a great thing. You can just start it off and then watch the video, read the article and solve the problem. So you have coding problem and then you have MCQ so that you can learn from them. And then you have Java collections, which again is very important as I always mentioned for DSA. Java collection is pretty much extremely important. So you have collections overview, nine videos for that, Lambda expression, Java stream, you have list and queue, set and map, string and algorithm. So you have problems also. Like if you're learning string, you'll have 14 string problems that you can solve. So let's take a look inside the string. Like what all is there. So you have string in Java, string operations, string builder and string buffer. So videos on all of them so that you're able to understand. You have articles on all of them and then you have problem. So these are coding problems related to string. So you have a bit of DSA here as well. Along with Java, you're doing DSA along with it. So your string, you have some very basic problem like length of string so that you know you get good with the syntax. Then you have slice the string, check palindrome, in room, reverse string. So time to time, you have coding problems along with the topic that you're learning so that you also get a little bit of problem solving along with it. Even though the main focus of the course is Java backend development, you have a little bit of DSA imbibed in it. So that's how the topics look like. Now, after that, you have basics of Java backend. So, of course, you're a beginner. You don't know how the backend works. You don't know how Java works in backend. So, they have the basics of that. So, you have multi-threading, which is one of the most important topic of Java. 
again you have pre-recorded videos you have lectures you have article then you have jdbc which is java database connectivity then you have basics of internet okay then after that you have projects and contest but projects will come after you learn the main backend development so the main backend development happens live so they come on live class and they teach everything live and they also open the stage up for questions so if anyone wants to like ask a question you can ask it then and there in the live call so you have week one which covers java object oriented programming and the essentials of fundamental programming so again it all it also starts at the very basics then you have multi-threading hash map and maven then you have spring boot and rest api development so all of these classes will be there okay week after week you'll have classes which will be teaching this and before going to the class you can refer to these articles for example you have spring boot and rest api development right so you have articles where you have intro of spring boot you have you know explanation of how does a server work how does backend work things like that you have a little bit of code snippets as well for you to understand like the dependencies then you have code snippets for you know these things like a basic spring boot application so you can refer to these things even before going to the live lecture in the future so that you know you have some pre-prep as well so i went through the articles they are pretty decent and the best thing about them is that they have resources at the end of it so if you want to learn on your own you have some references that you can see okay so the articles are pretty decent you have references that you can jump on to like stack overflow youtube gfg dzone articles spring documentation and things like that now apart from the live classes and the articles you have interview questions as well so if you go for interview you'll be getting a lot of questions about java when you go for java role so they have similar interview questions for you so the kind of interview questions that you can expect while in the real interview they have similar to that so you can get practice okay now apart from that you have contest so this is a feature of gfg courses that i really like even in the previous review videos i made about gfg they always have contest weekly contest which takes a test of the learnings you have done so far so you have a contest you can start the contest you will have questions you'll have code snippets you'll have mcq and you have to answer and it will test how much knowledge you've gained over the week so if you don't perform well you'll know where you lack if you perform well then you'll know that you have learned it well you also have a leaderboard to motivate you sort of you know like obviously you would want to see yourself on top of the leaderboard so the contest in the leaderboard is a great feature that gfg has implemented in pretty much all of their courses all of the courses i've reviewed of gfg they have a contest and a leaderboard feature whether it's back end front end or dsa so that's a great thing which motivates you you know because contests are pretty competitive and it's a great motivation now apart from that you can make self note and the notes that you make will come here now live classes will come here contests like i mentioned will come here and then you have one more part which is placements so the placements here is a private job portal for you for people who have taken this course so you have jobs posted here which are open to you guys whoever is taking the course so right now there's only one job posting because like i said the course has only recently started once it goes up and up you'll have more like opportunities given to you by gfg so gfg is the one who is basically finding these opportunities and putting it on the job portal so whatever comes on the job portal you can see according to you and if you want you can apply to that job okay now apart from that one thing you might be wondering what if you're taking the course you're learning a particular topic and you get stuck you don't know how to proceed you are stuck in a project that you're making you're stuck in a particular code and you're just having difficulty what do you do then well for that you have this icon here on the right if you click on that then you have a ask a doubt feature whatever doubt you have you can ask it right away so you don't have to wait for the doubt classes even though they have doubt classes you can see they have a live doubt session coming up on 3rd of december and apart from that you have a doubt support for you which is accessible at all times so the middle of the night if you get stuck you don't have to wait for the doubt class you can just reach out to the people from here so you can you know just ask the title of the question issue type if you have an issue in the code snippet you can insert that code snippet if you have an issue in a particular project you can insert the image of that and then you can pretty much write about the doubt you have whatever doubt and the experts will reach back to you so anytime if you have a doubt you can reach out to the experts of gfg from here so i think i covered pretty much everything about the course last thing is the projects because obviously people want to know what kind of projects you'll be making so you will be making a lot of small small projects that you'll be learning along the way once you're learning about apis you'll be making a small project about api 
once you're learning a particular feature you'll be making a small project to learn the implementation of that but the two main projects that you'll be making one will be the movie review project and one will be the movie ticket booking project so you'll also be making projects live with the instructor this is the project for you to make at your own pace this is like a self-paced project so for that you can see there are videos for you you know to explain you how the project is working you can code along with them they have project initialization component understanding controller understanding everything and then you can make the project yourself okay so you have the movie recommendation system and then you have the movie ticket booking system so both of these pretty much cover the essence of backend development so everything you've learned so far you're able to use it here and apart from that like i said you will be making live projects in the live class along with the instructor so my suggestion to you will be attend the live classes if you don't attend the live classes make sure that you see the recording and have your like compiler code compiler your ide whatever development kit you have make sure that you keep it open right along with the instructor and make sure that you code along with them whatever they teach you code right away if you get stuck don't be shy ask the doubt right away and if you are coding at your own pace you can use this to ask the doubt so make sure that you are clear with everything they have some really great content in there if you utilize it the right way then you'll be able to make some good projects get good learning and eventually get a good job as a java backend developer so i guess i've covered pretty much everything if you have any other doubts about this course let me know in the comments i'll be sure to clear that for you and guys make sure that you check the description and the pinned comment for the like maximum discount coupon code i'll be giving that there and do subscribe for more tech videos and more review videos